slicing up cheese today. We'll be smoking boot in. And I'll be drying tomatoes. Never a dull moment on our little homestead. Hello friends, welcome back. Right now, I am slicing up some tomatoes. I ended up with a ton, well, take that back, just a few, <laughs> not a whole lot, just some extra tomatoes. And we were going to throw them away and my heart just wouldn't let me. I cannot throw away extra food. And I'm so glad I pulled them out of the trash can because once I sliced one up, they were so good. So what I am doing with those is slicing them and I'm going to dehydrate these to make some tomato powder. My friend Mary, she did some this summer, just a few weeks ago, and I had seen it on a canning site on Facebook but I've never had enough tomatoes to actually do it myself, but hers was so pretty and I kept looking at those tomatoes sitting so sadly in the trash and I just had to pull them out. So now I'm going to make my own. I'm going to finish slicing up my tomatoes and get those going, but I wanted to show you our cheese that we did after our meat. I had a big log of cheese that my friend brought down from Pennsylvania. One of my favorite spots in Lancaster. So, um, I sliced it up into little thin slices like you would get at the store. And I had bought, we well, saw it on the, um, the unboxing video where I got my new, what do you call this? A vacuum sealer. And I sliced it up and look, I'm so excited. We got eight packs and each one is eight ounces. I think that's pretty awesome. Of course, we had already eaten some cheese, so there was more. And I put just a few scraps in the refrigerator just for quick snacking. So anyway, right now, I'm going to go ahead and finish slicing up the tomatoes. And we'll get the dehydrator going. And hopefully, I'll come back and show you the finished product. Hello. Look what we have. The tomatoes are all nice and dry, and I've been so bad. They're so good, I'm sorry. I never dreamed dry tomatoes were this good. But today, we need to get them put away. So, what I want to show you I'm just going to do a few, just to give you an example. We're going to put some into our coffee grinder and just grind them up for fine powder. And we can use that powder later for soups. Um, you can put it over rice when you're cooking rice and get it done. Mm, it just adds such good flavor. So here we go. Just put a few slices in there that were dry. And pulse it. <laughs> just do it a few pulses. It's just gonna take a second. We also got all of our jerky done. And it did much better than the other day when we smoked it. The other day it just had this weird, I don't know, chemical flavor. And it got way too done because it was the first time he had used that smoker. But it turned out really well this last time. And we've eaten almost all of it. Here we go. Here's the powder. Let me unplug it. And that way you can see. Take it and put it in a little jar. Do your best not to spill it and make a mess. Uh, there we go. We can grind up the rest and um, save it for later. But for right now, I'm not ready to grind all of it. So I'm just going to put the rest of the slices in a jar. Now, I wanted you guys to see how amazing these little guys look. 
and wanted you to know if you've never had dried tomatoes oh my if you have extra tomatoes lying around it is worth can you hear how crispy they are it's worth your time because they are delicious so until next time my friends i will see you later be blessed <laughs>